everyone, and welcome to part 36 of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So Piper is getting ready to open the vet clinic and was just chatting with Ariel for a bit before she does that, because Ariel does go off to work at 10, so she figured it'd be good to spend some time with her before they both start their work day. So we'll just, I don't discuss interests, that sounds good, maybe... Uh, sure, why not? We'll just do that. And uh, I also noticed that all these lovely leaf piles that we made in the previous part are now rotting. Like, I kind of forgot that that was a thing that they just started smelling. But we should probably take care of that, like, especially before we open this place, because, I mean, we don't want people coming over with our pets to our business and just smelling rotting, gross, soggy leaves. So we can throw it away or we can burn it, which might be a little bit more fun. So I don't know. We'll just try burning that leaf pile. Um... Don't think I'm going to do that with all of them, so then we'll just go ahead and throw this, these away and maybe just get all of them to help in. It looks like we also have some more leaves to break up as well, but I want to see how exactly this whole burning leaves thing goes. I mean, I don't think it's going to be terribly exciting because we're just letting some leaves on fire, but I haven't really done it for myself. Okay, there we go. I mean, don't need to add the match. It's already lit on fire. All right, well, that's exciting. Can they, like, warm their hands with it or something like that? play with wait you can play with the leaves oh there we go it's gone all right well that was quick i don't know for some reason I was, I was expecting that to be a little bit more exciting than that was all right it's time for ariel to go off to work so we're just gonna go ahead and send her alone so now that she's off at work we'll have i mean i said i was gonna clean up all the leaves but i don't really care we'll just open this up and get uh liam and bridget oh no looks like they're already on that awesome so good okay so bridget and liam i've already gotten almost all the leaves cleaned up that's excellent all right, see, so we are good to go. And then Milo is just rolling around some leaves. Oh, that's cute. I love that. I just, like, love these new interactions the animals have with the weather. Or, like, not the weather, but, you know, with the world around. Oh, no, he's not rolling the leaves. He's rolling the pile of burnt leaf ash, which, I mean, I guess it's technically rolling around on leaves, but... Oh, that wasn't... That's not quite as cute as I thought it was. Okay, let's... We. I think we need to, we need to train him a little bit more, so let's uh, train him to... Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can lecture him about playing in the trash because we definitely don't want him to get into a habit of doing that. He's like setting a bad example for his son here, you know? Like, we don't want Otto getting the idea that it's okay to roll around in garbage, so we definitely gotta teach him that that's not cool. So anyway, we are open. It looks like we've already got our first customer, which is Patricia. I think she was a pet of someone. Oh yeah, she was uh, She was one of the sims that I added in from the whole uh, roommate thing. So yeah, she's bringing her pet in. So it's awesome to see some of them bringing their pets in. It looks like Megan's here as well. So uh, hopefully she'll start helping out soon. And then it looks like we also have Ariel's sister, Arya, here. So that's neat to see everyone. Okay, so I think she got after Milo for rolling around the leaves. So let's go ahead and greet the patient warmly. And I'm hoping that introducing herself to these pets will help with her aspiration here. We'll see. Like, that would just be perfect. Because, I mean, this job is going to be an excellent way to get her to meet new people. <gasps> is he riding the... Or she, oh, she's riding the Roomba! All right, anyway, I'm not sure what's going on with Patricia, but it's not good. Do you think it could help? I know I've heard that cats can ride these, but I've never seen one actually hop on it. Oh, that's cute. I mean, oh, too bad we couldn't actually have a ride around on it. I mean, she probably would have freaked out if we moved it. And we kind of need to do our job, too. So I think Megan is coming in here to take care of the other pets. And what is that? Oh, she's lecturing this other person's cat. All right, glad to see Megan's bringing them back. And then we're all taking care of Patricia here. What is this? Hold on. Oh, I think that was, uh, Kaveri, I think was her name. One of his friends was, like, wanting to hang out with him or something. I kind of wish I'd caught what that was. Oh, hold on. I need to take care of this cat. All right, let's uh, examine, uh, skin cell. Ew, skin cell. Oh, I love how Winry, I just think it's adorable how Winry just came over here and is, like, sitting by her feet. Like, I think Winry is definitely, I mean, look at their relationship. Like, Winry has definitely taken to Piper. Like, the two of them have bonded so much. Because I don't think she has, oh, did she work? Oh, yeah, she had to work, too. Yeah, like, uh, Bridget doesn't have nearly as uh, developed of a relationship with Winry. Or, did I say Winry doesn't have a relationship with Winry? I don't know. Uh, Bridget doesn't have as nearly as developed of a relationship with Winry. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, but, like, Piper's the, the dog person here, you know? Like, she just gets along with dogs crazy well. Like, she just always bonds with them right away. So, not surprising that they're close. And then she's also super close to Milo. Super close to Dakota, as we all know, and I think she's already really close to uh, to um Otto, which is nice. Ooh, okay. Kitty is not happy, and she's not even that tense. Uh, let's take her temperature. I mean, it looks like she has hot feet. And then Megan's ooh, 
Arya does not look happy. Hopefully, it's not anything Megan's doing. I mean, Megan's usually really good. All right, so, oh, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is fighting? Okay, who is fighting with who? So we got Bartholomew A. Biddlebun Jr. and Dakota. No, Dakota, no, don't beat up the guests. Not cool. All right, let's go ahead and administer, what was that, antiviral payloads. We'll go do that and try to remember to call a good pet. All right, so let's do that. Let's see if we get that in really quick. And what is, what is going on with that fight? Okay, there we go. We'll do that. I don't know if we got that in really quick. Okay, what? why are, Why is Dakota fighting with this cat? Like, I don't even know who started. Like, maybe I'll be able to see when I watch back over the footage, but I think... Oh, no, I think Dakota lost. Aw, poor Dakota. And now she's running off with her tail between her legs. A shame that she lost. I wonder if we can lecture her for getting into a fight, because that's not cool. Um, let me see. No, it doesn't look like we can. Darn. And what is Winry doing? He's just She's just sniffing this basil. All right, I'm not sure if we called a good pet or not, but um, let's go ahead and take care of Bartholomew here. Greet patient warmly. See how our rating's doing, like whether we... Oh, no, we haven't gone up at all. And then that's not counting for introducing, so that's a disappointment. I mean, we can give the friendliest introduction to the pets, and then that'll probably help. All right, I'm not sure what's going on with Bartholomew A, but it's not good. Do you think it helped? Yes, of course. Just do our best. I think pretty much everyone in this household has worked today. I mean, Piper's technically working, even though she's not going off to a job. And Liam, I'm pretty sure, is working as well. Um, because what I wanted to do, like, I thought it might be kind of fun to have a girls' night. And perhaps we could ask Megan, wherever she went off to, I don't know where she went. But um, I was just thinking, oh, there she is. I was just thinking it could be cool to invite, um, like, Megan to join. Like, just kind of say, like, hey, we're doing a thing tonight. Like, you want to hang out with us? And then Bridget, Ariel, Piper, and Megan can all hang out together. Because I have been wanting to get to know Megan a bit better and, like, bring her into the fold more. more. So I think it'd be cool. Like, you know, maybe they can just hang around here and order a pizza because that's not a thing I really ever do, although it's not terribly exciting. Um, so let's just go ahead and queue up a bunch of these, see if we can get somewhere. It looks like Austin came in, and then we got Alex Briscoe, who's another one of The Sims added in. So I think that was, yeah, that was his pet. I just realized, like, maybe to one of his cat, Zoe, and then I made Zoe later on, like, not realizing that I had already given him a cat with the same name. All right, so how's this going? So we know that he's barfing. Oh, nice. We're getting pretty, getting this on pretty quickly. All right, so hopefully, there we go. Extreme lethargy. So let's go ahead and, oh, I just really soothe. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Soothe pet is quicker. I should have done that one, but that's fine. Um, so fortunately, okay, Liam's got work in an hour. Ooh, don't know what that's about. Uh, but it looks like Megan's not taking care of Austin's pet. So good to see that. All right, so let's just go ahead and queue up the treatment. Oh, I think we have to use surgery, yeah. <laughs> just looking at a puddle, all right. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and move to surgery station because I don't see anything here that's a treatment. There we go, move to surgery station. And what is, what is she thinking? Wait times here are short and sweet. Glad to see that. I think we had just had someone throw up. I think that was probably him. All right, so let's go down there and see if we can take care of this. I wanted to see where her vet skill was because I don't think she was at level 10 yet, but I think she was getting pretty close. So let's see, level 9. Yeah, so we're 44% complete with a level 9. So we were getting really close to maxing out the vet skill, and we already maxed out the pet training skill and already completed the aspiration. So Piper is making really good progress on completing like all the things from cats and dogs. I mean, the last thing is to get this to 5 stars, but... I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that for the end of the series. Like, what I was thinking, like, because, um, as I was saying last time, I'm going to do a little bit of a fast-forwarding of a few years for the last part. I might just play on my own, like, until we get this to four stars. Or five stars. Um, so we'll see. Like, maybe we'll get there. But I think it's, like, from what I've heard, it's really hard to actually get a vet clinic to five stars. Like, you have to learn little tricks to get it there. So, hopefully we do. Like, it'd be awesome if we get this place to go up half a star today. You know what, I think I might just go ahead and disallow new customers. I think we're good. Because we've still got Alex to take care of. Alright, how long is this going to take? Wait a minute, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just... <laughs> tum tum tickle tickle for you just surgery. Alright, that's... <laughs> I'm just sitting there going, why is this taking so long? Why is nothing happening? Forgot the fact that I need to actually click on and select it, so... Yeah, sorry about that. Alright, but we're moving now, and we turned him into a poodle hedge. That's cool. I love how all the dogs are falling over down here. It's adorable. 
Yeah, Winry really loves her. Like, I feel like when Liam's not here, Winry definitely just wants to be around um, Piper. All right, so we've taken care of Bartholomew. We're all good. Let me see if we can get in the calling a good pet really quickly. Uh, let's exit all that. Oh, never mind. Oh, darn. All right, didn't get to do that poor Billy being billed or billing her. So let me see how we're doing up here. All right, so she is getting fairly close to being finished with her, I guess, making pretty good progress. So I think as soon as, unless we don't have anyone, yeah, we don't have anyone else out here. So I'm definitely going to shut down this place once she's done with Alex's cat. All right, so Megan just finished up taking care of Alex's cat, and she actually gave us a four-star rating, which is excellent. And we also are now at three and a half stars, so we finally moved up a little bit. So I'm really happy to see that. I also got this pop-up that the Spice Festival's in town, which I didn't realize was going to be. So I think maybe we should do that instead of just having them all hang out here. I feel like that would be a lot more interesting, especially since I haven't gone to the Spice Festival in a while. We might run into some people we know. I think it's going to be fun. So I think we're going to just go ahead and, I mean, maybe she'll hang around if we close it. Um, so let's see. Ooh, we made 1,067 points. So we're also starting to make more money, which is excellent. Uh, growth opportunities are stress level and ambiance. And then excellence is value of service. So I'm wondering if we could also up the price, like um, up the markup for the services. Because I think now that we're starting to get a higher star rating, we might be able to do that. But I want to see if we can catch her before she leaves and ask her to hang out. And then um, we'll just go to the Spice Festival with her as well. So hopefully she doesn't leave before we get a chance to do that. Okay, good. Looks like she's stopping. Um, so I want to see where the options were to... Okay, that's not it. That's not it. Um, I think it would be here. Price markup. Yeah, so let's go with 150%. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, oh, we also have these supply quality things too. Awesome. So we have a premium supply quality. Awesome. Um, so hopefully that won't cause too much of a problem next time we open this place. Because I think I'm going to run this place one more time before the series ends. Because I have been doing it every other part. So I'll probably do this again in part 38. And then I don't think I'm going to the last two parts of the series. All right. So let's ask her to hang out. And then afterwards, um, actually, we should probably wait till they get home from work, which I think will be in. Yeah. So they're both off at seven. So we'll head over to the Spice Festival after that. But. In the meantime, we can just have these two chat. I think that'd be good for having them get to know each other. Yeah. All right, so Bridget and Ariel just got home from work, and Bridget actually got promoted, which is excellent. So I think this is definitely a cause for celebration for them all to go out and have a good time. So let's go ahead and have them head on. I think we just still click from here and have them travel there. So let's just go ahead and pick Megan as well as Ariel and Bridget, of course. And I think this will be a good time. I think it'll be fun. Looking forward to this. So they're all here, and it looks like the whole wolf pack followed them here as well. Uh, I think I, yeah, there's a dog wool I stuck in here last time. So we'll just go ahead and fill it up so there's less of a chance of them bu bugging them for food. Although I don't know if that's exactly going to work. I don't know, but we'll, we'll just have to fill just in case. It looks like some of them are in a bad mood, so hopefully it's not just because of their hungry. All right, let's see what we have going on here. So it looks like we've got some food out. We've got the bubble blower, the usual su Spice Festival activities. Does look like she's a little hungry, so let's have her go ahead and grab some food. Oh, what do we have here? So we've got goi kuan. I'm sorry, I'm really not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, mapo tofu with pork, lumpia, tahin, and then another that other that um same thing over here again. Uh, let's have her go ahead and grab some of this. So we'll just grab a serving of this. I want to see if the rest of them are hungry. Yeah, I mean she's not really hungry, but we'll just stop. Um, or you know, let's have a gra have them all grab a serving together, just so that way. They'll all come over here and grab some food, maybe sit here together, they can chat. What is this? It's ladies' night at the bar tonight. Let's take advantage of the cheap drinks. Uh, oh, this is that bar I placed into Windenburg. You know what? I might actually accept this because for some reason, I'm just kind of not feeling spice festival anymore after getting here. I don't know why, but, you know, we're going to be a little bit more spontaneous and just hang out with our mother. So we'll pick the same group of people, Ariel. Uh, Megan, Bridget, I guess pick her mother just to make sure if she shows up here. Where is... There's Bridget. And I want to check to see where her mom is. I guess her mom's just going to be there already, so we don't really need to pick her from here. Hopefully that's the case. Alright, so we'll just get out there. Why not? Let's just... Let's just do something spontaneous and not planned, because I know I usually kind of, like, plan what happens in parts, but... I don't know, sometimes it's just a nice... It's just nice to go with the little random calls that your Sims get, and plus... I mean, I think we had her hang out with her mom back in, I don't know, it was like a few parts ago, like 31, 32, like when we 
did that ladies' night with um, Bridget, Piper, and their mothers, but, you know, we'll do it again. All right, so we are here, over here at Windenburg, which it appears is a lot colder than San Myshuno. All right, where is Mila? All right, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have her talk to her suggest fun activities. Oh yeah, you know it looks like she was. It looks like she was also bored with spice, the spice festival as well. So like, she wasn't even feeling it either. Like I think it was just a sign that we needed to move on to doing something else. And is that Mila? Okay, good. Glad to see her. All right, let's have her go ahead and say hello to her mother. I mean, her mother's been wanting to hang out with her more. I mean, we just saw her in the last part, but you know she's been wanting to spend more quality time with her daughter. So I think this is definitely a good idea. Discuss the latest games. Heartfelt compliment. Yeah, I haven't been to this lot in ages. Like, I think the last time we went here might have been in... I don't know, might have been in my Get Together Let's Play. Although, I think I... Didn't I put this same build in my Sims 4 Season 2 Let's Play? Because I vaguely remember having a couple of the Sims, uh, Ryan and Kaden, go here on their honeymoon. So maybe I did place... No, I don't usually do that, but I guess I did place this into another save. All right, so we can have her go ahead and travel, tra or challenge another Sim, not travel another Sim. Um, let's have her challenge Megan. Just let the two of them get to know each other a little bit better. And for those of you who have been wondering when my Sims 4 Season 2 Let's Play will be coming back, my plan is to bring it back when this series ends, so hopefully all goes according to plan and that can still happen. Because I know it's been a really long time since I've uploaded the last part of the series, and I'm really, really sorry about that. <laughs> Um, so anyway, let's have a, a deep... Oh, I think this is new. Um, I think like, like, she hardly knows Megan, so I think it might be a little too soon to have a deep personal conversation. But I guess we can have one with Maya. I don't know if it's just because, um, I don't know, they're vibing, like, having a really good conversation maybe, and that's why that's coming up. I don't know, maybe it has to do with this, like, old times interaction. I'm not sure. But that is interesting that, that shows up. Like, it looks like they're just having a really nice time here chatting. And what are Ariel and Bridget doing? Okay, so Ariel's just over here talking to these random people. Bridget is petting Dakota. Oh, that's so cute. Um, get to know. I think I also saw, oh yeah, I also saw Zoe walk in. Who, uh, Bridget, of course, like, still isn't a huge fan of. Bridget never actually got a chance to confront Zoe after what happened with Shane. So, I mean, I'm not sure if we should start something here. We have to, okay, she's going to the bathroom. I'm not sure if we should start something here because, I mean, it, it was a while ago in the past. You know, like, it's been a few months since that whole thing happened. But then again, like, she hasn't really seen Zoe much since then. Never really got a chance to air her grievances over that. You know, confront her over that. So, I don't know. Like, maybe we should have her kind of start something a little bit. Because, um, you know, she had a drink at her. She's seeing Zoe, the girl who, like, resulted in her having to break up with her boyfriend who she really loved. So I don't know, I mean, maybe we could ever start some kind of preposterous rumor about Shane, like, just to mess with Zoe, because she's not really sure, like, what's going on between the two of them. I mean, rumor has it that they're, you know, like, rumor has it that they are dated, like, she's seen pictures of them together on Simbook or whatever since their breakup, so she's not really sure what's going on there, but she's just thinking, okay, you know, maybe I can just go up to her and say something ridiculous about Shane. And why on earth are they greeting each other like that? Like, that's definitely too friendly of a greeting for their relationship, but... Yeah, I mean, she can just mess with her and say, Oh, how do you deal with Shane's temper or something like that? You know, like, something just to spook Zoe that there uh, might be an issue with Shane. Um, I mean, I don't think Shane actually has a temper or, anything, a temper or anything like that. Like, what were his traits? I actually forget. Oh, she, she doesn't really even know them. Oops, okay. Um, I don't know. You know, just something along those lines. But I'm still not really sure if we should try to, like, start an argument or anything like that here. Because, I mean, that would be interesting, but at the same time, you know, like I said, like, some time has passed. And I don't know if Bridget's really the, like, just get into an argument. Like, she's a very cheerful, happy person, so I don't, like, I don't think she's the type to just start something. Like, I think she came over here with the intent of maybe yelling at Zoe, but just ended up kind of backing down from that. You know, like, kind of got cold feet with that and just can't really bring herself to be mean to someone that she doesn't really know super well or I don't know like she doesn't I don't know I just think she's in too good of a mood to start some petty argument over something that happened months ago and ruin a perfectly good night but I mean she did kind of mess with her a little bit you know like with um being a little passive aggressive being like oh like how do you deal with a uh, Shane's tantrum or like um temper or that kind of a thing um so anyway, let's just get back to the happy girls night here and See what happens. So it looks like Ariel's hanging out here at the bar with Mila, who she doesn't really know very well. And I also just realized I completely missed um, Amber or Megan. Oh no, they are still playing. All right, so good, good. I didn't completely miss that. 
Awesome, glad to see the game's still going here. Okay, what are we gonna do? We wanna flirt with Ariel and woohoo with Ariel. Awesome, all right, let's give her a heartful combo. Not sure if we can really do that while we're playing this game together, but I'm just glad to see that that's going really well. All right, she needs to pee. Um, you know what, let's get a food bowl out here for the dogs just so they don't go hungry. We'll just go ahead and stick that there, and then I guess we can have Bridget go over here and fill that up. Yeah, there we go, fill bowl. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking it'd be interesting and dramatic to start this, like, fight between her and Zoe, but I just don't think at this point that doing that really makes sense, like, unless Zoe does something to provoke it. I don't know, just because I think her and Shane are in the past, like, she realized that there was issue, there were issues with their relationship before he even cheated on with her on Zoe. And I just realized she also needs to pee. I remember that someone once said that, oh, yeah, it does, yeah, because someone once told me that foosball is really good for getting their relationships up, which... Yeah, definitely is like, look at that, they're almost friends. Like, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm glad we're gonna get there. All right, how much longer is this game going on? Because she really needs to go to the bathroom, unfortunately. Looks like, oh, Ariel's coming over to cheer her on and watch the game. I love that. I think we could actually, yeah, we could actually have her watch it. So we'll just have her keep an eye on the game and root for Piper to win. Like, I'm sure she's gonna root for Piper. Uh, let's see what Bridget is doing. So she's just sitting here at the bar with Jessica Keen, who I think was... She was related to someone. She's related to Chloe, I think. Yeah, like her half. I don't. I don't even remember all these relationships. Um, let's ever go ahead and talk to Myla and ask about her favorite author and joke about politicians. I guess I don't know. I don't know if that's like a best thing to do with your. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. All right, we'll just do that. All right, and this game is still going. Oh, poor Winry. I thought I told Bridget. Oh, right. Okay, let's have Ariel fill it. This poor Winry really needs some food. All right, come on, fill it. Please, someone fill this bowl. This poor dogs need food. All right, fill the bowl. <sighs> All right, so apparently we can't fill it where the dog dragged it. Okay, so let's move it over here. Here we go. Hopefully we can fill it from here. I know, Winry really needs food. Okay, there we go, fill the bowl. Good, all right, managed to do it that time. All right, how close are we to peeing ourselves? Oh, uh, we're gonna, ooh, okay, and, oh, okay, let's stop this, go pee, go, 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 go. Go, <laughs> come on, oh, pfft. Hopefully she's not leaving. Is she leaving? I think she might be, oh, all right, yeah, she left. I was hoping that they could hang out a little bit longer, but that's fine, I mean, we got a good bit of bonding in here. They almost became friends. Or maybe they did become friends. Oh, they did! Yay! So she did become friends with Megan. So, I mean, we made progress there, so that's great. But anyway, I think everyone is getting pretty tired. It's also getting pretty late as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this part here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and bye!